Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator and the Path Eraser tool. And you can use the Path Eraser tool to remove parts of paths using just simply any shape. And this I'm using 221, but the same in 220, 219, etc. I'm not certain when Path Eraser was added, probably quite a long time ago. So let's just select just a very basic design, and I'm just going to go with like a rectangle tool. Now I can have, of course, you can have a fill, of course. There's no issue having a fill. What you can do, path eraser. Where is it? Where it is. Shape tool, path eraser tool. And you can simply add, go over that design, and you can see what happens. It removes part of the thing. Now, what happens, of course, and the reason why I got rid of the fill, there's no fill, because as soon as you do that, you end up with open paths. So you end up with this weird line, which is fine, no problem at all. You can see the problem. You've got these little chunks of colour there. So I'm just going to select that and go back to I see just single one without. It works okay with a standard path with a fill, but I think it works best probably with, to demonstrate anyway, to show with just a standard stroke. So let's just go again to the path. Path eraser can be found there. And what you do, just hover over there and just drag to the point where you want to stop. Now you can, the key tool I think in this is the lap navigator as well as the layers. You find those via window, so layers and navigator, and you can see the breakdown as you do that. You can see rectangle there over in the layers, just down here. So as soon as you do, let's just bring that up a bit so you can see it. And also set the you can set the panel options. Always I think makes it too small. So make it, let's make it 100. Make it a bit more visible. So you can see the breakdown. And as you do that, you can see what happens. You're going to get individual paths. So you get that break, and you can do that. Now, quite often you suddenly find you have no path selected. You need the path selected. So select all or control A, etc. So you can select it. So there you've got a path that's not, they're not selected. You can't use the erase row, it just won't work. So you need it selected, and then you can. But the navigator is useful because what you can do, you can zoom in. So again, control A, and you can just see, you can just create very, very tiny little cuts in the design and of course you can do this with all kinds of shapes not just what's no this one let's just come out again so you can just see it a bit and you can just do use a razor and go around all the way around and of course once you've done that you can select the individual parts you can move them so you don't have to keep it and of course what you can do you can recolor the design as well so you go over here to the stroke and say maybe make that red select that one and you can always go back to the path razor so you think, oh, you know what, I want a bit of a gap there. And it will do it. Yes, there it is. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you go over and you don't just do it right. It will just not do anything. But you just go over it and you can cut that away. And then, of course, you can change your colour. So you can just change the colour of that one. And you can resize it. You can do all other things. So you don't have to keep it the same size. So maybe make that five. Maybe make that one four or something like that so you can create this very sort of disjointed sort of rectangle of course you can of course add another rectangle below that just add one there just to over you know have this one as an overlay perfectly reasonable as well now also another thing you can do you can always group these so you can always then of course make multiple copies of that group hold down the ultra option key and you can see there now to actually use and I'm just going to next thing I'm going to show. Just go over here, and you can gain go over there, and you can remove. Now the group doesn't get around the group issue. Some tools don't. Some tools will refuse it, but this one clearly does. If you select all of these, you can again just go there, and you can see you can break that down. So you can create some very abstract designs very quickly, just from a very basic rectangle. So let's just remove that now. What you can also do. And this, you can maybe like create that. And then I'm just going to do it the other way around because I'm going to use the repeat feature. Now this is in 221. So this is 221. What you can do, you can go over here again to the, there, the path eraser tool. And it's just an open path and you can just create multiple things like that. Select all of those. Then go to object. That's the key thing, object there and repeat and radial. So that's selecting, I've got it going up like that. And then you can see the design there. And you can modify this design so you can see you can make some nice bursts of 
energy. And what you can do, you can go into these ones and you can select individual ones. So you can say, change the color there. Now you can select individual or actual individual ones as well. And you can change that just by double clicking, going into the isolation mode and you can come out again. Let's come out of there. Or you can continue to modify and let's just get this so we can actually see it, this design here. But what you can also do, you can use a pass eraser within that as well. So again, double click one of these instances. And then with the row selected, and you don't have to have them all selected, you can have just some, but select all, select, and it will only select those within that instance that you're editing. Then you can go over again to the, I always must admit the Pathfinder, it just it looks very similar to some of the other tools. So sometimes when I go over, I'm thinking, where is it? I'm just looking, there it is. Hmm. I always wonder why they've never done a sort of like maybe a background color change so you can actually actively see it. Maybe there is a way of doing that, I don't know. You know, make it red or green or something so you can really see it. It's always, because of the gray background, it's, all, it's only just slightly very dark. Contrast is very poor. Now, what you can do, you can use arrays on that as well. And you can see you can chop that again, control A, just so you can break that up. And again, control A, and you can break it even more. So you can see I'm just, and again, that's not selected, so I can break that part. You can create all kinds of different designs. And of course, once you've got that, you can then move the design. If you, if you have to zoom in, sometimes you have to zoom in. So you select that one. Let's just select that one. And even there, it doesn't let me go. Yes, you can move it out. So you can, sometimes you quite often, it quite displays the handle so you can't actually access it in the way that you want. But you can resize it and all those sorts of things. So you can just make some variations using the path eraser again. And you come out of that. Also, what you can do, let's just get rid of this one now with this design. Let's just, I'm going to use a very basic line. It doesn't have to be a line. It could be obviously any shape. I'm just using a line just for example here. So I've got this design. What you can do, you can go to the appearance panel. Here's appearance panel, which is quite useful. And you've got here stroke here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and add another stroke to that. So just go right side there, appearance, and there's an option here. Just add new stroke or duplicate. Could be reasonable as well. Duplicate option. So you get two of 18. Well, now it's going to push it up to 40. Obviously, that's on top. So what you can do, you can drag it down. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Yeah, it's 18 on top. And I'm going to change color. So you can see now I've got uh, that 41, the green one, and I've got the red one. But what you can also do, again, you can go over here. And like I say, you can use, maybe go, let's just go and select that. I can go for an effect. Let's just go for a blur. Gaussian blur. Let's just blur, the, just blur that one. Maybe I'll regress it because now it probably goes slight. Yes, it's got a slight blur in there. Click OK. And you can see sort of glow, a green glow behind. All you can do, you can still go over here and you can cut it. Just go down there, you can cut this design. And again, you have to select it all, so make sure it's all selected. Select there, and you can end up creating a broken design. And they're all, what's named, all with that design there. And also you can apply other effects as well. There's lots of other effects, maybe distort and transform, etc. That's quite nice for creating copies and all those sort of designs. As well as, of course, go back to the object menu and you go to repeat and you can use radial and you can see the design there and you can of course still continue to edit it so you can double click and go in and select that line and use the path eraser tool on that let's just go come out and undo all that sorry there's some noise next door they're doing some work next door with a drill so I have to what's that oh you can do it obviously with any other shape you can also do it with type as well also, you can go, let's go with a rectangle, just as reasonable. There's a rectangle shape and it's just got the drill full on now. So let's just go to the path eraser and then you can do that. But what you can also do, you can use these width profiles. So you can just add a width profile. And I've just added that width profile there. Just very simple. And you can, of course, click stroke, maybe dash lines as well. But for reasonable. Now I'm not going to do that one, I'm just going to keep it with this width profile. What you can then do, go down here again to the path eraser tool and you can just go over there with the path 
and you can see what happens. It just creates a nice gap there. You go there, creates a now you might have to go and individually edit these parts, the width profile. So you get this sort of broken thing. And of course you can select the individual ones and you can change that. So if you don't want that size or maybe reduce it down, maybe change the color and so on and so on. You can create all kinds of different designs that way. Also what you can do, let's go to that tool. You can go to brushes. So select a brush. I'm just gonna go with the basic brush. There's of course thousands of brushes that come with Illustrator. Well, what you can do, select that brush, and I'm just going to, so you can see it a bit better, so you can see the design there. Again, go over here to the path eraser tool, and with that selected, and now unfortunately, because it's blue, you just about make it right, and you can break the path apart. And you can see, you can break it again, break it again, break it again. And what happens is you end up with very intense sort of line designs like that, which is quite nice. Again, select that, and you can do the same. You've got this design, go for effects. So effects, blur, oh no, I don't want to use that one. I want to go for stylized drop shadow. Let's just add a drop shadow. So you've got drop shadow. Now what you can do, you can use the pass eraser again. So pass eraser, and again, you can see them break apart. And of course, you've still got that shadow. So the shadow effect is still added there. And you can create a very nice, quick, broken, design like that okay always control a if you can't select so you can actually select that design and of course they're all individual so you can move them around duplicate hold down the alter option key if you want to duplicate and so on so on you can also use the curvature tool as well so i'm just going to create a very quick curve make a doodle over the whole screen and then simply and i've got obviously a fairly large stroke setting there of 40 and i'm going with yellow or orange. And what you can do, simply just drag over there and then quickly create your design that way. And I'm gonna, I could obviously fill the entire screen. I'm just gonna go for a very basic, quick doodle like that. So with that, what you can do, you can now go up here to opacity. And I'm gonna set it to, you could go through, obviously you've got a range of different ones here. You haven't got a vast number of blending modes, but you've got a few. So say, color burn. Color burn, just select one so that the whole of this design you can see over here in the layers is with color burn. Now, what you can do, go to the path eraser and you can just go, just, oops, path eraser tool does help to select the path eraser and there's the path eraser. And as soon as you do that, as soon as the bits that are crossing over, you can see will change with the blending mode. And again, you can raise a bit more there and then you can go like that. And you can go over there and you can always change of course the blending modes afterwards anyway if you want to select them all and you can see you can create a sort of interesting design like that very quick and easy like that select all and again pasty if you think you know what i don't want color burn i can always go with darken or overlay and you can see a variety of difference obviously if you go for difference you'll end up with black like that but you can select the individual parts as well so you can always select that part of the design and maybe change color. And you can see then you've got the color combination there. And also, of course, what you can do, you can select all of them. You can go over here and you can then maybe use these different width profiles, which you can see you can create a very abstract design, sort of like a, I don't know, a Miro design, I would say, an artist sort of, I think that's sort of very abstract design. You, of course, can move these around, overlay designs, and hold down the alter option key and duplicate the design and so on, and change color maybe. And you can create a different sort of design using that. So, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always having new tutorials all the time about Illustrator, Finity Photo, Finity Publisher, Designer, also Critter, Painter, and many, many more. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments. Always appreciated. Always, uh, if I've done something wrong, some, please let me know in the comments. Also, a dislike or like. Always appreciated. Thank you much.